On the green road segments here at Driving Television, we've covered everything from lighter, more efficient vehicles, recycled components, hybrids, and electric cars. The one thing that we have not touched on is the road itself. To truly drive the green road and to make as little an impact as possible, there needs to be infrastructure to support the electrification of the automobile. I'm here in British Columbia and most Canadians probably don't know that there's plans to build a green highway connecting California to the BC border. Now the original plan was to build a hydrogen highway but I think that might have been a bit too ambitious. So years ago the, there was a, a, a concept, the hydrogen highway extending from California up through BC and into Alaska. And in 2010, during the Olympics, uh, an MOU was signed between uh, the governors of Oregon, Washington, and California, and the Premier of BC, and they rebranded it the Green Highway. The Green Highway is largely being constructed around uh, this big project in the US called the EV Project, and it involves a bunch of uh, charging stations and about 300 fast chargers that are gonna enable you to drive from San Diego up to the US border and charge every 50 miles. So that in theory, anyways, you'll be able to jump in your electric car in San Diego and get all the way up to Whistler. Even though hybrid cars have gained widespread acceptance from the general public, and now with the ability to buy a plug-in version, the adoption of electric cars isn't expected to be large, but having more infrastructure will surely help. Just as the adoption of electric vehicles will take some time, so will the building of the highway. Construction has just begun in some locations. Can you imagine one day you'll be able to do the drive to California on spring break on pure electric power?